Well, today we made definitely made some progress. We got the 4BT hooked up to the 4L80E. We have the uh, the low stall torque converter inside. Now that is bolted up right now, and I you know wiggle that torque converter. I've never set a torque converter in an automatic before. I've always had manual tr transmissions. This is really my first uh, automatic. But so I, I watched a couple videos on it, wiggle in there, heard it pop, you know, wiggled it again, so spun it counterclockwise, not counterclockwise, clockwise, and then heard it clink again, and I couldn't fit my fingers in between there, so hopefully that torque converter's on there. It went on the transmission pretty good. I actually had to uh, lift up the transmission. I don't have a transmission jack. I put the uh, cherry picker on the front of the transmission, and then, <clears throat> excuse me. Now I put a, a jet underneath the transmission to help level it out and then kind of pulled it forward. It wasn't too bad. It took me a few minutes to come up with a good solution to um, to actually level out the transmission to match it. It was slightly tricky. I'm glad I have this little, I, I'm not sure if there's a leveling bar or whatever that is. Because the, the transmission adapter has a slight tilt to it. So I'm not sure if you notice, if you can see that, there's a... I'm not quite sure if it's uh, 6 degrees or 20 degrees, I, I really don't know. I've heard both numbers and I'm, I'm really not sure, but there's definitely a, a tilt in that adapter, which uh, which actually wasn't too bad since I had uh, on the uh, on the uh, <coughs> engine uh, lift, engine hoist, I had the little, the little leveler thing, whatever the heck that thing's called. So anyway, I got that together, and then I put the, the bolts on from the 5.7 where it joined and I haven't decided if I'm going to leave those or I'm going to use the ones that came on the uh, Turbo 400 that was originally connected to this adapter. I'm not quite sure which direction I'm going in with that. I actually made a post on the forum. Maybe somebody gives me feedback which one's better if it doesn't even matter at all. just don't really want to screw that up because it's, it's very difficult. I assume it's going to be very difficult to get to these bolts once I have it all bolted up. It's a lot easier to do all this stuff now. So once I do figure out which which bolts I'm going to use, I'll um, I'll definitely put some some Loctite on it so it, they don't wiggle loose. I also had a few minutes afterwards and before I shut it down for the night, I went ahead and cleaned up some of that rust to paint the engine bay. This is what I'm going to say the first pass. I know I'm going to scratch this up uh, when I'm jumping in and out of the engine bay and making my mounts and all that. And uh, when I go back to, inst uh, to install the new uh, steering components, uh, I know it'll get scratched up. Like I said, this is the first pass and it turned out really well. You know, I'm going to get a few coats on it and I'm pretty happy with it. And I, I consider it like a first pass flat rate paint job. I didn't spend too much time on it. It turned out well. All right, well that's that's about it. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm very happy where I'm at right now. So hopefully this weekend I'll have the time to uh, take this transmission, engine transmission, and plop it in there and start building my mounts. And hopefully, hopefully by next Monday I'll have the thing sitting on its own, sitting in the engine bay with custom made mounts. It doesn't have to be all wired up, but I want it to be really, really close on Monday. So anyway, that's that's kind of a big goal right now. All right, guys, y'all have a good one.